Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Codextual, aka Hatchel, and today we're going to be talking about Team Viewer. I use this quite excessively. Um, it's my daily driver, and I always get this stupid message. Um, it says, "Oh, hey, blah blah blah. You're gonna have to wait another minute." Then once you wait another minute, and you try to remote into another computer, it just kicks you out just instantaneously. Um, or at least within that 60 seconds. So we're gonna go and remove this. The reason why that this pops up, it's because TeamViewer has detected that you are using it for commercial use and non-commercial use, um, which is supposed to be the case here. So let's go ahead and clear this all up. We're gonna uninstall it. We're gonna get rid of the app data uh, team viewer that's inside that folder, uh, and we're gonna change our registries. So in order to fix this, let's go ahead and begin. So let's go ahead and close out of it, make sure it's not running into the taskbar, uh, and it's not. Okay, so bottom left, hit the Windows uh, um, button or hit the key on your keyboard and type in Control Panel, and then you're gonna look for Uninstall. And then you're going to look for Team Viewer. And let's go ahead and uninstall it. And I'll prompt up with this. I'm going to go ahead and remove settings. And next thing, uh, what we need to do is go towards our apt data. So you want to hit uh, the Windows button. Type in run. Then this will pop up. This little box right here. Uh, we can go ahead and close out of this. And we're going to type in percent apt data. Then another percent. And you can click OK. Then this folder will pop up. Which you want to scroll down and look for a team viewer. Just go ahead and delete that. Then next, what we want to do is go towards our registry. So um, hit the Windows button, type in reg, edit. Now this will pop up. So the pathway, um, the first thing that we need to get rid of is go to the uh, current user, then scroll down for software. Then look for Team Viewer. If it's not in there, then the uninstall did its process, but I just want to double, uh, double make sure. I want to make sure that it's not there. Uh, I do not see it. Okay, next thing is um, you want to go towards your local machine software. And look for Team Viewer. Okay, there's one right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. Deleted. And now, since um, everything's all been cleaned, um, make sure that you uh, reset your computer, download the EXE installer again, and let's see if we actually fix the problem. All right, so here's the installer. Let's just uh, go ahead and just do the thing. Um. If it ever asks for like a personal use, make sure that is selected. You never want to choose commercial use unless if you're like a commercial or a business owner and you're using that for their features. So it says, I want to use the free version for personal use, which I do. And we're gonna go ahead and hit finish. Um, now team viewer popped up with my ID and password. Um, I don't want to show that. Um, however, I'm going to log into my machine or I'm going to log into my account and see if I can log into my machines. Um, I know you guys can't see anything at the moment, but that's okay. All right. Now that I'm logged in, I'm going to go ahead and remote into one of my machines and, uh, see if it works it should. And I'm also going to wait for a few minutes just to make sure that it doesn't close out on us and provide us with that stupid error. All right, so it still gave me the commercial error, and this is going to be the last and final solution. Um, we want to go to Team Viewer slash EN slash Reset Dash Management. I will provide the links in the description, and uh, it says was commercial use detected on your Team Viewer ID, and it was. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reset that. So it's going to say connect with the Team Viewer. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to allow it. Is requesting for permission 
So I had to use a different browser because Brave didn't want to load up everything correctly. So the next thing is going to have you fill out your information. And then it's going to generate a PDF file. And you're going to upload that PDF file. Then, you know, you're just going to wait until they can fix the issue. That's basically it. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and like, share, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Check out private internet access today. It's going to act as your digital content because when you're sticking your things in places where they don't belong, you're going to be self over. Now, when you visit no, no sites, like when you're looking at stuff that you're not supposed to, or you're downloading things illegally, there is no logs that is kept by PIA. Now the U S Supreme court is like, Hey, uh, we need you to log all your users and we need to see if they're up to no good. And PIA is like, yo government, we don't have logs. That's part of our policy, bro. So that gives you a extra confidence that you can download things illegally. Not I'm saying you should, but I'm just saying they don't keep logs, man. Now, if you can't afford for $10, give or take a, a month, then don't click skip ad on my videos because I need that moolah. Buy PIA today. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.